hi friends so i hope everybody get the projects and you guys are going through it well so i just wanted to make this video to explain you what the project is about and how this works and what is the what are the integration that we made to give you just an overview of that so that it will be very useful for you as well so i'll just go through what we have done so far and then i'll just walk you through the steps which you have written in the excel sheet uh, the notepad sheet as well so that you'll understand what you did so that's very important so that it will be useful for your viva or uh, if your professor has some question that also you can do that fine so first uh, as per the requirement we need to use a uh, lot of tools okay so that is our first requirement so the tools which we are using in this current project is so <coughs> i'll just take uh, take this one. so with the tool which we are using is first initially the data is in uh, mysql so initially the data we have uh, for currently we have used the data from excel sheet so from excel sheet we are loading it into mysql from excel sheet we load the data into mysql and once the data is loaded into mysql we have loaded the data excel we have excel excel sheet excel sheet to mysql we are loading the data and from mysql what we are doing is we are loading the data into hbase hbase so as you might have already know hbase is a column oriented database where we can store column and values key value pairs as we can store over there it's a no sql database and how we are loading the data from mysql to hbase is we are using scoop scoop is a tool ingestion tool which used to transfer the data from rdbms to uh, other uh, hadoop or hbase whatever the data set it is whatever the database it is it is used for that so using that tool we are just transferring the data from our My mysql which is our rdbms to hbase that is our first step which we are doing so for that what we need to do so what all the things we need to do is we need to create for that we need to create <coughs> so first we have the data in excel excel so excel to mysql we have loaded so first step is done this is our first step step one so this is the first step and then second step what we are doing is step two what we are doing is once the data is in mysql from mysql we are do loading the data into hbase hbase is a no sql database which we will be using it further so that we will use that so for loading this thing we are using scoop further we are using scoop to load the data okay scoop to load the data scoop is nothing but a tool which is used in um, hbase no sql scoop is a tool which is to do for all the ingestion from rdbms to hadoop hdfs those things we are using it uh, for that that is called uh, scoop and then step 3 so we have loaded the data into hbase so after that what we need to do is we need to do some analytics or whatever the questions that we have uh, asked to do that we need to solve it so that is our part 3 so hbase there is a, a bit difference between the hbase and hive okay so hive is mainly used for uh, analytics purpose so if you want to do some if you want to find some kind of uh, analytics and uh, aggregated data so that time we will be using hive for that so here what we can do is hive offers abstraction to directly fetch the data from hbase so this step what we are doing is we are creating one hive abstraction on top of hbase table on top of hbase table so the data is in hbase only but we are going to access it through hive so we will just create one uh, we will just create one hive table on top of the hbase uh, data set so that we can easily access and write queries whatever things we want to do we can do on top of the hive only okay that is our third step and then step four in step four what we are doing we are writing a hive queries queries to find the answer we are uh, here we are doing analyzing and um, transforming the data and whatever it is the results which we want to get we are getting the results over here over here we will get the results and we will do first level of uh, transformation that we will do here after that what we do is step 5 the result of the hive queries those things will be pushed back into hdfs the result will be in hdfs only so from hdfs we will 
fetch the data and we will do the java map reduce code java map reduce code we will do on top of the uh, hive results so once we did the java map reduce and in java map and reduce we write a logic to validate and ensure that the hive results are proper and it is going through in a proper way that's what we write in a java map reduce code and as you already know java map reduce will have three parts mapper and re reducer and then driver program so all these three things will be available in the map reduce code that we have to, we have written so the map reduce code will return some results that will be also the result also will be in sgfs only so next step what we are going to do is step 6 what we will be doing is we need to bring the data back to our uh, local and then we will on top of uh, and from the data result from the results we will be doing some plotting plotting using python program so the python program this will result as a chart and whatever the result result it will give it will there is a result so this is how the entire uh, flow is going so here these are all the technical stacks which we are using okay so that's what we are using so that's why we are that's how we are going to see the steps as well as in detail here also okay let's just take this example so how we have implemented this let's just take the example here so how many people took the loan as uh, 2011 so there are some data set okay we have some data set sample data set which is having like this which is having like this these are the data set this has something around 78 column or something more than that also it is there and then we will take the each data and we will insert it into our uh, database and we will do the all the steps on top of the data set okay so these are the three questions we need to find out from the data set and applying this much logic and functions okay so first what we are doing is we are just preparing for mysql so mysql db we need to create we just created one db so before that i'll just connect to our uh, cloudera 5.8 so i am using cloudera 5.8 the server is already running in my machine so the vmware is already running and just connecting from my putty through my putty i'm just connecting okay it's connected then i'll log into mysql mysql iphone u root iphone p the password is cloudera so i just now i entered into my mysql system so i have already executed all those steps so i will just uh, give you select i'll just show you the results so that you can also understand okay so use this db i'm just using this db okay i use the loan db now i'll say what are the tables available here <laughs> so there are loan tbs available so select start from loan tv <coughs> okay oh my god this must be having a lot of data i just did it wrong it will throw us a lot of data so loan db is a huge data set that is having around almost 8 lakhs record so i'm just i killed it so as you can see here on uh, 8 lakhs 87,379 rows were there in this particular table that much data we have loaded so for that we created a table and then we loaded the data in the next step from excel sheet we, whatever we have we have loaded the data so that is the first two step is done now our data is available in on the h mysql and next what we do is we will be creating a hatch base table for the particular input so next we have created a hatch base for our uh, input and we have using scoop we have imported the data into our hatch base okay so the id we here we need to give the id so here the id the id is nothing but our uh, id in our input data set itself so that scoop in data set we have written so now the data is available in our hatch base okay so that's our hatch base so third thing what we need to do is so the third thing third step what we need to do is we need to create a hive data uh, hive data table we need to create a hive table for that so that we can write queries and analyze whatever the things we want to do so i'll just do exit from here and then i'll go into hive hive i've already created the db and the data set So here while creating it what we need to do is we need to do the mapping and all here what we need to do is we need to do the hbase mapping we did not uh, created any external table something like this like that 
we just mapped that particular HBase table which we imported from scoop uh, to here. We just mapped that only here. That is our next step. <coughs> so I'll just show so databases and the use loan loan db is not there. Anyway, it's fine. Use ENG. Show tables. Do we have loan table here? No, loan table is not there. Use use default. Okay, here we have a loan table. So we have the loan table. Everything we have imported in the hive table also. Okay, our next step is we have imported the data in the hive table, and on top of that we will be writing queries. This is just an example query for. Uh, to find out the result of the first example first question whatever asked so what is the first question asked for us that we, we can get from this sheet itself first question is how many people took the loan at the year 2011 okay so how many people uh, this is just a query we need to write that uh, it involves some bit of complexity what is uh, nothing but a date conversion so here we need to be very careful so these are the problems we will be facing yeah, this will give us null and etc etc so we need to be very careful about the structuring of the date okay and then we just wrote a query and the first query and the third query third query we have done everything is done so query is done once the query is done what we can do is the results we will be creating one result dv one result data one result one more table in from that table we will write the java code what the java code will do is java code will directly read from the uh, hadoop hdf itself and it will write it into some other places it will just validate all the input ones if anything is wrong it will correct it internally and then it will result into some other hdfs location from that we will get it and we will and then we will uh, show the results in our pie chart or uh, plot bar so that we can do that so this java program particular java program we have it in our uh, shared drive sorry in the result we have the java program so this is our java program this has three parts as you can see map reduce and then driver so there are three parts it contains first is map map just reads all the data input and then reduce just reduce and it uh, if any other key is there it will just emit it those things will be done in reducer and then finally the driver program which will just uh, do what is the input and what is the output and as you can see here we have mentioned the sdfs path for input sdfs path for output also output is just the output so once this is run we will have the output in this particular path so from that path what we can do is we can retrieve the result and we can um, okay, you, we can do a plot okay so that is our next step so once the data is available in the output <coughs> so we need to get it we can get it like this uh, loan db and part the results will be in a part file so we can get it using part and then we just make here what we are doing is we are just making it as a csv file so that we can easily plot in our uh, plotting using our plotting logic ok so once that is done then we can have we have one python code which will show us the results so we have a python code i'll just explain it i'm just opening it python so this is our uh, result whichever we wanted and here we can see for the three problems we have the answer which is the getting displayed over here so these are the steps which is step by step we have done in, a, in this current project and uh, these are the technologies which we have followed and uh, we have used almost uh, mysql and uh, hbase as a database and uh, a lot of map producing architecture first one is map reduce program itself we have used which is the java code and then one more map reduce tool which we use this scoop scoop to inject the data and then next map reduce jobs what we have written is we have written uh, all uh, hive queries hive queries are internally transformed into map reduce code only so here we have uh, written hive queries to analyze the data 
so there are there are multiple technologies multiple integration that has been happened and all the integration is done we will be getting the results like this so this is our final chart we can show it in our, uh, to our uh, whatever concern person so this is the basic logic i have mentioned all the steps and all the java code over there in our um, in the zip file i have sent you and if you have any other doubts in more in this you can contact me also my number is getting displayed in the video and uh, yeah and if you have any other uh, queries or questions you can feel free to contact and you can just ping me in whatsapp also your question and this video is private video so many people will not be having access to it so yeah that's it thank you thanks for watching the video and all the best